have definitely heard the creative voice of our next guest. This Steinway artist has worked with Lil Nas, Babyface, Cardi B, 2 Chains, and Celine Dion, just to name a few. Now, Chloe Flower is out with a piano pop Christmas album showcasing the breadth of her genre bending musicianship. Let's take a listen. Composer, producer, Chloe Flower joins us now in studio. Chloe, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So you're out with your second album, a Christmas album, and this has all the familiar holiday songs, but you take a different spin. How, when you were in the studio, did you envision going in this different direction? You know, Christmas is kind of the perfect musical project for me to, you know, navigate between tradition, whether it's like traditional melodies or classical music and innovation, like my my actual sound. So I was super excited. I want people to like listen to my music and be like, oh, that's Chloe Flower, even mm -hmm. though there's no vocal. So that was kind of the goal in the studio. And I didn't want it to all be happy because, you know, the holidays aren't happy for everyone. So I that's wanted right. there to be, you know, ebbs and flows in and out, you know. How did you decide you wanted to arrange each song? Well, I wanted it to have, I love um, Hollywood and cinematic music. Music. So I wanted to definitely have um, that Hollywood, old Hollywood sound, but I wanted to make sure it was epic and emotional and almost feels like a dream. So every song is like really different, but they all hopefully sound like me. <laughs> I, I love that you call your style popsicle. I explain what you mean by that. So basically it's always hard, it has been to describe my genre, right? Because um, the thing about instrumental music is it's so diverse. So it's not just classical, it's not just pop, it's not just hip hop. And so I would say I love popular music and I love classical, so I just started calling it popsicle. It made sense. It, it totally <laughs> makes sense. It, it feels to me like there has to be somebody who's influenced you, because you have such a unique style. I'm imagining you take in from different pop people, different classical musicians who have inspired you. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, I've always been so inspired by classical music, but also vocal music. And it's hard with the piano. It doesn't have the vibrato that like a voice or a stringed instrument has. But I got a lot of inspiration from Liberace, who oh. was one of the, the few artists who really crossed over from classical to piano bar to pop. He went really mainstream. And I loved his, he had that old Hollywood sound as well. So he was a huge inspiration for me. You went to Manhattan School of Music. You come from a very strong classical lineage. How did you end up producing music and working with people like Cardi B? You know, I, I wanted to stay authentic to myself and really I truly authentically love hip hop and I love pop music and so on social media I was just messing around with covers and just doing my own twist um, to these songs and she found me on Instagram. Classical music often has this air about it, right, where it's kind of unreachable, it's, it's very elite, but it feels like you have grounded or, or married it well into today's sound? Def you know, about classical music, it, you know, what I've realized growing up in, in the genre itself, um, I was always separated from the audience. And what I've learned going into the pop space was that, you know, the health of the audience and the health of me, de we depend on each other. So I've, I've had such an amazing time opening up from, you know, when I was in school to all of a sudden ex ex experimenting with pop genres, like pop songs and like from the Beatles, Whitney Houston, Mariah, um, even soundtracks from film scores like Indiana Jones. I loved playing. I did a concert with Indiana Jones music and um, that was a way that I was able to touch and connect with audiences that didn't necessarily understand classical music. And so in that way, I, I think that's how I've been able to reach people. And social media has been great in that way that I can just put out a cover and put my own twist on a, a random song and then all of a sudden it resonates and it, that brings them in. I, I'm curious too, when did you know that music was really gonna be your thing? Because I've talked to a number of musicians lately who said that, you know, kind of like we do at our house, like we insist that our son plays, you know, piano and takes those lessons and he doesn't necessarily love it but it's some people say people say that they transition at some point to saying like this is my passion I have known that I've wanted to be a, a pianist since 
I can remember mm. time. Um, and I think that's kind of what I'm trying to do with my career is inspire kids like in your family to want to learn an instrument. You know, we're putting out so many sports geniuses and less music geniuses because the demand in schools is not as high for music as it is for sports. And so trying to make it cooler and mm -hmm. trying to approach it in a different way so that these kids are excited to sign up for piano or orchestra. I think you do it so well. You're in front of the piano doing your moves, your dance moves, a little bob. We like that. Chloe Flower, thank you so much for joining us. Want to let our viewers know that you can listen to Chloe Hart's Christmas anywhere you stream music now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.